That's a wall of earth coming down. The storm was just hitting. We showed you this amazing video yesterday. Two people fleeing the effects of Hurricane Helene as it moved in, narrowly escaping a mudslide in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. The dash cam video showed the moment a hillside gave way, smothering the interstate behind their car. Alan and Kellen Keffer join me now. Alan and Kellen, God bless you. Kelly, rather, excuse me. God bless you. You were moving fast. You were driving fast. Uh, Kelly, tell me what you saw as you looked back. I uh, looked back in the car and just saw the mud on the door and kept looking back and saw that the glass was shattered. Wow. I did, couldn't see anything beyond that. Had you ever seen anything like this happen in that area before? Did you know what you were kind of escaping at that point, Alan? No, we were just on our way home from vacation. We had no idea. I would have never seen anything like that. Wow. And you were going home. I mean, you knew the storm was coming in, storms come and go. Had you, had you been sensitive to the fact that this one might be different? Were people talking about it as you returned from vacation? No, not really. Uh, we just figured it'd be a little bit of rain, maybe some wind, but it would be fine. And it wasn't until we got on I-40 that uh, we saw that, whoa, trees are blowing down, highways are getting closed. Uh, six minutes after this happened, a tree fell on us. So oh my it was an interesting day. Yeah, and you were spared, thank goodness. I see in the distance an 18-wheeler trying to get out of the way, Kelly. People could see this coming, and the earth just moved. No, they were actually just parked there. Really? So where that car and where that... So they were blessed to be out of the way. Describe to me, what when it, when it came down, how much was it? I mean, from the video, it looks like, in, like a whole mountainside. Well, that's what it looked like when I looked out the window. The mountain was coming down with the trees and rocks. Uh, we didn't get the brunt of it the way that little black car there did. I saw. We got to the side of the mountain. I saw that was one a of the pull cars. Off area. I'm sorry, that was a pull-off area. That's why the tractor trailers were there. They that's, were just parked. Okay. And then the, um, the the truck and the car behind the that black car got hit a whole lot worse than we did. And we have fortunately been in touch with a few of the people that were behind us, mm -hmm. and they were all safe. So we were really glad to hear there were no um, major injuries other than vehicle. Mm -hmm. And just talk to me, if you will, about trying to get out of the way. I mean, how fast were you going to begin mm -hmm. with? And, and what was going through your mind? I, it's a mountain coming down. We were only going about 35 miles an hour because oh of the rain. As soon as I saw it, I just stepped on the gas, and my first thought was, I wonder if this is going to hurt. And three seconds later, it was over. Kelly, your thought? Uh, it was pretty scary because I didn't see what was happening. I just heard everything hitting the car, and I thought they were big rocks because that's what it sounded like. And I was expecting the roof to cave in. So uh, we're very blessed to have gotten through it, and everybody else that survived, we're very thankful for that. I love that you have been in touch with the people who were behind you, who drove through perhaps uh, hoping, but you were already on the other side of it and could look back and pray for them. Yeah. Alan and Absolutely. Kelly, thank you. I, I can't even imagine what life is like right now. I mean, I, I know that you had a home to go to. A lot of people don't. Can I get a last word of maybe where your heart is today, Kelly? Well, we're thankful to the Lord for his blessing there and praying for everybody that was in the wake of the worst of it, where um, we just can't imagine what they're going through. We were, we came out of it safely, but many people did not. And we're just continuing to lift the, that area, all the rescue teams that are coming in, all the supplies that are being delivered to those areas. We're just um, lifting them in prayer for their safety. Kelly and Alan Keffer, thank you for telling us your story and sharing your incredible video. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.